Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. If you guys can tell, we're doing a little bit of remodeling here. I actually moved into my brand new room. I changed the camera angle. Let me know in the comments down below. Should I get some more things in the walls around here? But more importantly, welcome back to CSK News, guys. A lot of rumors in today's episode, as well as a lot of solid stories. All of them will be time marked down below for your convenience. But first off, I do want to talk about potentially a brand new Brazilian roster coming to CSGO sometime soon. Confirmed by HLTV last night, as well as close sources. Thank you to those guys out there. Scar, who has sent me this information, as well as Nell. They've actually told me some inside stuff guys It does seem confirmed though that we had three members who want to leave immortals That is Henny and Lucas the brothers alongside KNG who are requesting immortals to actually leave that organization And who could they join up with there's a lot of players out there of course in the Brazilian scene But apparently FNX is one of their target members now kind of ironic if you guys remember KNG actually replaced FNX on the immortals roster after he came over from SK gaming So it's kind of ironic there But that four person lineup is a very solid Brazilian lineup there and they could join up with anyone but as of right now, thanks to my inside source, Scar, it does seem they want to go after Liquid Elige. Now, of course, I do want to share with you guys this, the contradiction. Uh, no matter what, it can be a powerful four-man lineup there. They could join up with anyone, but Liquid Elige, according to an inside source, has also been trying to learn Portuguese just for this situation. Now, he is, of course, a high IQ player, a very smart player. Many of you guys know about that, but nonetheless, it still means their Liquid general manager is very confident that Liquid Elige is actually going to stay as part of their organization. He tweeted out this I, I just actually last night as well so he seems very confident that Elige is not going to be leaving Liquid at all and just throw that out you know, let's say Elige is not going to that four man roster no matter what guys we have a brand new Brazilian roster likely to happen and that leaves Steel and Bolts on Mortals organization who's going to sign this new lineup we do not know as of right now but also speculation it would seem Peacemaker would be their new coach of course most notoriously known for coaching Tempo Storm and also LG and all those lineups as well he's very well known in the South American scene although his last few stints at coaching different organizations have not gone well. He's very well known for coaching Brazilian players, and so he would put likely be their coach in the future. So it could be Elise, it could be someone else. There's going to be a new, brand new Brazilian roster coming sometime soon. If Henny, Lucas, and KNG do leave Immortals, they will happen. So on top of that, though, I want to talk about all you Optic fans out there who want to know roster changes, when they're going to happen. They have been delayed. Uh, apparently, according to Hector, the owner, he actually was on stream. Thanks to Nine Grats who sent me this clip. I'm about to play with all of you guys. So for all of you who want to know what Optic roster changes are going to be happening, if you guys actually watch Optic Vision, they actually cover all of their esports in a Vision episode every once in a while on YouTube. I'll link the Vision episode down below for you guys. He says it won't be until next Tuesday where they release the Optic roster changes. Now, many of you guys know as well, the ESL roster lock is actually this Friday. So it's going to be cool to see if they talk to ESL because on their website, they usually post the rosters of the teams who are in Pro League. So maybe ESL will actually hold back on Optic's roster. But it seems as of right now that Optic will not be releasing any roster leaks until next Tuesday. So it has been delayed. And then we'll see who their team will actually be. It could be a brand new Optic lineup and it would be a brand new Optic lineup in the sense that it could be a lot of European players, maybe Olaf Meister, maybe Freiburg, maybe Alu. No one knows at this point in time, so wait till next Tuesday for those announcements. And here's what Hector had to say. Information about Counter-Strike, uh, you should know by now that nothing is discussed anywhere besides on Vision, which is what my intent is as we speak. So uh, next time you're gonna find anything out about uh, the Counter-Strike team is going to be in vision. And thanks to all you detectives out there, we actually found out who North's fifth member will be. Now, it was not really any like any really big guessing here because everyone knew it was going to happen eventually. It's formerly Heroic Valde. He is now joining North, apparently. It's almost 99.9% .9 confirmed. Expected to be announced very soon, guys. They actually posted this on Twitter a while ago and then deleted it, but all you detectives out there, you guys can see the Yeezys. Of course, go to Valde's Instagram, then circle the picture you guys see. Cross your eyes, dot the T's. You detectives out there found this and actually did this work. So yes, North's fifth member will most likely be Valde from Heroic. Not a huge surprise there. On top of that though, we have a brand new coach for Team CLG. They lost their former coach, I'm a Pet. He's currently a trial coach for Optic Gaming. Who knows if he has a future there still, but they have now announced their new coach, and that's the former Selfless Gaming owner. And that, and that organization disbanded a while ago, and that is Rai Yu as their new coach. So a very weird change there. All you Selfless fans, don't expect the organization to come back anytime soon. He is now coaching for CLG. And really quick, I do want to say for the next couple episodes, of CSK News, I'm not going to be touching on too many rumors because I'm sure many of you are aware of there are so many players out there, Olaf, Meister, Alu, Freiburg, uh, we also have uh, Elige, other players as well. We don't know where they're going and there's so many conflicting rumors, especially with Elige and FNX and all those guys. No one knows where they're going. I'm going to try and wait for those to be actually be confirmed for me to actually release those stories for all of you here on CSGO News. But actually, lastly, I do want to talk about a very cool story. I guess kind of cool unless you're a gambling site owner or a trading site owner and I really don't approve of what this guy does. But we have a brand new scam out there and I want to show 
you guys. I really can't show you the exact guy, but I want to make you all aware there's a scammer out there right now who actually is selling Steam accounts for bots. So pretty much he sells these to gambling sites or trading sites. He sells Steam accounts for bots. I'll show the screenshot on the screen of his forum post. I'll link this forum post down below so you guys can go and reply to it, scammer or scam artist, as well as this conversation on screen between one of the people who was actually scammed by him. So he'll sell you a Steam account for a tradable bot, and that's how it actually works for trading sites and gambling sites. They can buy these as well. They're super cheap, but what he does is he actually retains those files. I'm not a really big tech guy, you know this, but he'll wait for trading sites and gambling sites to load those accounts with skins, and all of a sudden he'll reclaim his accounts, take the skins with him. As of right now, I think his two victims were actually tradeskinsfast.com for about $8,000, alongside that CSGO hunt for another few thousand as well. So he's been he's been kind of like the Robin Hood of the community, but not a good Robin Hood. He's scamming trading sites and gambling sites. I don't really don't mind the gambling too much, but still definitely not a good thing to be doing because he's also scamming regular people like you. So if you guys actually want to buy Steam accounts or bots, do not buy it from this guy and please watch out. You can never really trust anyone online nowadays. Hope you guys all enjoy. I will see you all later today. If you guys want to stop by for a YouTube live stream, we're going to do some CSGO news live, talk about rumors, just kind of chill, do an IRL stream and talk with all of you guys who actually want to talk with me. As always, leave a comment down below. Leave a like if you guys want to. I will see you all tomorrow with more CSGO news. As always, my name is Jake. Remember, I like you and I will uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye.